But if you're getting a salmon dish, you're getting ripped off at Danielle, ripped off. It's farmed salmon, people. It's farmed salmon. It's farmed toxic salmon. Hello, Chef Marcus Giuliano here, and I'm your chef on a mission. I am so pissed off that chefs just downright lie about what's on their menu. It's disgusting, and it doesn't matter if it's a guy around the corner or a fancy, fancy French chef or one of the top chefs in the New York or in the country or in the world. A lot of them, not all of them, a lot of them just downright mislead you. And when it comes to salmon, salmon is probably the number one ingredient that I find because all the chefs know that farm salmon's toxic, it's crap, and it shouldn't be being done. They know that. But as soon as you start asking them about it, they kind of manipulate. It's like, oh, well, our farm salmon's different. Yeah, your farm salmon's not different. If you go to their website, it's all propaganda BS. It's it's terrible. And you, the consumer, should know up front that you're eating, f there, there should be a law. There should be a law in the US. Worldwide, when you, a chef writes the word salmon on his menu, it needs to say either wild or farmed. Either or, farmed or wild. There's no guessing games, but of course, you still have to beyond go beyond that point and find out because a lot of them um, just, uh, just lie about that anyway. However, I called one of the best chefs out there, Danielle Ballou, and the restaurant Danielle, which is his flagship restaurant. And I gotta tell you, so their menu says Aura King Salmon on the menu. It just says Aura King Salmon. I know that Aura King Salmon is, is, is farmed. I know that. I called them and I wanted to see what they would say. And I wished I, wished I could play this to you because this is mind-boggling. But I feel it's more important to call Danielle out uh, than, to, uh, than to reserve his identity and, and, and play some recording. So, however, I asked them if it was wild. They said yes on my first phone call. I, they said, well, the chef will be in an hour because they went back and asked the kitchen. And the kitchen goes, yeah, it's wild, it's wild. And I said, but it's, it says Aura King Salmon, that's farm. She goes, no, no, the kitchen's telling me it's wild. And I, I got, sort of said, well, no, it's not. She goes, well, the chef will be in in an hour and a half. Call him back. I'm sure he'll, he'll, he'll answer you. He'll fill you in. So I called back. And I went back to her, uh, the same lady, and she came back and she came back. She goes, it's wild. And I said, but your menu, what does your menu say in house? Because online I'm reading Aura King Salmon. She goes, Aura King Salmon. I said, okay, Aura King Salmon is farm salmon. She goes, no, it's not. The chef said it's wild. And I said, I'm on their website too. And she goes, I went on their website too and looked them up. They're wild. And I said, okay, I'm on their website right now. And it says here, farmed salmon. She goes, well, the chef says it's wild. I said, but if you're using Aura King Salmon, which your menu says, and I'm on their website, it says farmed, it's farmed salmon. She goes, well, nope, the chef said it's wild. This five, six, seven times, she goes, the chef said it's wild. And I said, that's not right. Now you, the average consumer would be like, okay, I'm going to Danielle, I'm dropping 150 bucks a person for food, plus wine, I'm, I'm probably dropping 300 bucks a person on food here. Why would restaurant Danielle even begin to lie to me or deceive me? You would you would think Danielle Ballou is being one of the top chefs in the country, in the world. Danielle Ballou is up there, a lot, a lot, a lot of acclaims. And, and I'm not picking on, on I, I, mean, I, I should say, I, I'm, I don't dislike Danielle. I'm just, I'm just calling out the fact that he should, his chef should definitely know. His manager should definitely know. I mean, you have a girl on the phone that's answering the phone that's telling me, I'm on their website right now. I'm saying, yeah, I'm on the website too. And it says farmed. Nope, the chef said it's wild. They said, you don't believe the website. The website's lying. So I said to her, I said, that's what I said. The website's lying. I said, is the chef available for comment on this? And she goes, I don't think so. And I go, can you please, I need, I, I need to resolve this. So she comes back three, four minutes later and she goes, you know, you're right. It's farmed salmon. I said, I know I'm right. I said, but how did you, how did, how did the chef all of a sudden just change his mind? The chef just all of a sudden randomly changes his mind now that, because he knows that somebody on the phone, a consumer, a possible consumer, a possible customer is sitting there pressing them 
telling them, I'm telling them that they're not, I'm telling them you're not telling the truth. And they're, they're standing strong. They're standing strong on this stance, right? And this is the part that sucks. You, the consumer is going to get so ripped off. You don't need to go to restaurant Danielle and pay 150 bucks a person for crap farmed toxic salmon, no matter what the website says for the salmon company. You don't need to do that. You don't need to pay, you don't need to pay $5 a pound for salmon filet and pay 150 bucks for dinner at restaurant Danielle. The equation's not there. Yeah, a lot of his other ingredients are better ingredients, but if you're getting a salmon dish, you're getting ripped off at Danielle, ripped off. It's farmed salmon, people. It's farmed salmon. It's farmed toxic salmon. Salmon farming is so detrimental to the environment, to the salmon, and to your health. Go to my website, nofarmedsalmon.com. Check it out. If you're a chef, read it. If you're a chef that cares about the ingredients you serve, stop serving farmed salmon. No matter what the company says, it's all BS. It's all propaganda. That's what the bottom line is. There's a lot of educational tools out there. Get yourself on YouTube if you're a chef and watch some stuff. Go to salmonfarming.kills. Don Sanford's group in uh, in Scotland. Look at Alex Morton's work in uh, in British Columbia. Look, there's tons and tons of people doing the right stuff out there, showing you and exposing you farmed salmon. It doesn't matter what the farmed salmon company says, what that farm says, it's crap. Don't listen to Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart was on TV. I watched her. She goes, I ate the pellets to True North. She didn't eat no pellets. I don't. Do she needs to understand what's in the pellets. If she knew it was in the pellets, she would not be eating the pellets if she ate the pellets at the salmon reading. She wouldn't touch them. Chicken feathers, chicken beaks. The company that, that she's boasting, True North Salmon, owns a pork and a chicken rendering plant. That means they take all the extra parts that you can't fit into a hot dog, that you can't fit into cosmetics, that you can't fit into something, and they take it and render it down and make protein pellets out. Literally feathers, folks, gets recycled back in. Every part that they can't use for something, rendered down, processed into a paste, a goo, whatever, and popped right back into the pellets for the salmon. And let me tell you, Martha Stewart was eating that because the company salmon that she's boasting owns a rendering plant, but specifically to put in their feed. So, restaurant Danielle, you know, if I wasn't, if, if I was an average consumer asking you once or twice, I would have thought I ate wild salmon at your place. I would have thought I was eating something on much higher quality. Danielle Ballou, ugh, shame on you, shame on you. We got to the bottom of this, and hopefully, when other people ask, they won't tell people. And hopefully, restaurant Danielle will watch this video so all their staff is on, so they know that, hey, you can't be doing stuff like that. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please hit like, subscribe, and pass it on.